Welcome to Family Vlogs and today we are going to discuss a very important topic in gynecological history taking. We are going to learn how to take gynecological history. And this video is very very important for medical students, those who are pursuing their dreams to become either a medical doctor or a clinical officer, laboratory technician or even a nurse. This video is very very important for you. So stay tuned because we are going to learn about the format on how to take gynecological history into details. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit this notification bell and subscribe. Turn it on for more videos that we will post and watch this video till the end. Now let's do it and let's go for this video. Welcome to Pamli Vlogs and today we are going to discuss gynecological history taking for medical students. Basically, we are going to talk about how to take gynecological history for medical students. A gynecological history is an assessment of the female reproductive system. Gynecological history should be in a private setting and patient dignity and privacy should be a key factor to be considered. In order to increase a patient level of comfort during the interview, questions should be asked in an open-ended and non-judgmental way. Gynecological history format and sequence remains the same. Should be in a chronological and sequence manner just like medical history. Small changes normally occur in gyne and obstetric history taking. And now let's look at the changes that may occur in gyne history taking format and before that we have a normal history format which entails patient biodata or demographic data or even personal data chief complaints and duration history of presenting illness review of other systems past medical and surgical history family history personal socioeconomic history summary general examination and vitals and even you may proceed to systemic examination now patient biodata uh, includes name age sex ethnicity occupation marital status religion date and time of history taking some history may include parity gravidity and last menstrual period in biodata but this is not a rule of thumb. Kindly note that in chief complaints and duration, it is important to ask an open question as possible in this part of the history and to ensure the complaint is understood. Most chief complaints in gynecological clinic or ward may be as follows. Vaginal bleeding, abdominal pelvic pain, vaginal discharge, dyspareunia, vulva itchiness, and duration and time of onset should be included in chief complaints. History of presenting illness, the patient is asked to describe any symptom in her own words. Additional information about the nature of the problem can be obtained by asking specific questions. Specific details to elicit from the presenting complaints includes type and site of symptoms, timing, onset and duration, cyclical or symptoms associated with menstruation, intermittent or continuous, exacerbating and relieving factors, private episodes include any investigations and treatment, other associated symptoms. Socrates is very, very important acronym in this manner and it is going to help us to ask about uh, the following. Now, sight is very, very important. Ask about the location of the symptom. Where is the pain? Can you point to where you experience the pain? It's very, very important question. Onset is very, very important to ask. Clarify how and when the symptom developed. Did the pain come on suddenly or gradually? When did the pain first start? How long have you been experiencing the pain? Character is very, very important in this manner and how will you describe the pain, e.g. dull, dull ache, throbbing or sharp? Is the pain constant or does it come and go? Radiation, 
ask about the symptoms moves anywhere else like does the pain spread anywhere e.g. shoulder tip pain in ectopic pregnancy associated symptoms as if there are symptoms which are associated with the primary symptoms are there any other symptoms that seems associated with the pain e.g. patient presenting with ectopic pregnancy may have associated nausea and vomiting time course clarify how the symptom has changed over time how has the pain changed over time as if the symptoms has any relationship to the menstrual cycle have you noticed symptoms worse at particular time of the month exacerbating or relieving factors as if anything make the symptoms worse or better does anything make the pain worse eg patient with symphysis pubis dysfunction may find going up or down the stairs make things worse does anything make the pain better eg patient with gastroesophageal reflux may find that antacid medication helps with their symptoms severity assess the severity of the symptoms by asking the patient to grade it on a scale of 0 to 10 and then you may ask on a scale of 0 to 10 How severity is the pain? If 0 is no pain and 10 is the worst pain you have ever experienced. Ask the patient if the symptoms is having a significant impact on their day-to-day -day life. How is pain impacting your daily life? And this is a pain score and you can see the facial expression scoring 0 to 10 and where 0 is no pain and 10 is worst pain possible. Key gynecological symptoms to ask about include abdominal and pelvic pain, cause include ectopic pregnancy, ruptured ovarian cyst, endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disease and ovarian torsion. Postcoital vaginal bleeding includes vaginal bleeding occurring after sexual intercourse and this can be uh, including cervical ectropion, cervical cancer, gonorrhea, chlamydia and vaginitis. ask about intramenstrual vaginal bleeding and bleeding occurring between menstrual period and this can uh, occur due to mirena or coil ovulation a miscarriage gonorrhea chlamydia uterine fibroids perimenopause and malignancy e.g. uterine cancer cervical cancer and even vaginal cancer postmenopausal bleeding that occurs after the menopause cause include vaginal atrophy hormonal replacement therapy and malignant eg uterine cancer cervical cancer and vaginal cancer ask about abnormal vaginal discharge uh, which can be due to bacterial vaginosis chlamydia and gonorrhea uh, painful menses that is disp uh, painful uh, coitus dyspareunia uh, causes include endometriosis vaginal atrophy gonorrhea and chlamydia ask about vaginal uh, vulva skin changes and itching uh, which may be due to vaginal atrophy vaginal thrush gonorrhea and lichen sclerosus systemic symptoms like fatigue eg due to anemia anemia may be as a result of bleeding due to a uh, cancer of the cervix ask about fever or you can elicit fever um it may be due to pelvic inflammatory disease and even weight loss which may be due to malignancy due to cancer of the cervix ask about vaginal discharge and this is very very important to consider about the volume color consistency and even the smell it's very very important kindly note that several sexually transmitted infection can cause abnormal vaginal discharge like gonorrhea and chlamydia may present with abnormal vaginal discharge bacterial vaginosis typically present with an offensive fishy smelling vaginal discharge without any associated soreness or irritation trichomonas vaginalis typically present with yellow frothy discharge with associated vaginal itchy and irritation uh, ask about dyspareunia which refers to pain that occurs during uh, sexual intercourse it has several causes including infection and endometriosis vaginal atrophy malignancy and bladder inflammation the location of pain varies between patient and some patient may present with superficial dyspareunia with this pain uh, at the external surface of the genitalia or even deep dyspareunia pain deep with the pelvis Uh, you should clarify the duration of the symptoms the location of the pain 
and the nature of the pain. Sacrotes is very important in this case. And if you have not watched uh, my video about dyspareunia, kindly watch the video. Vulva skin changes and itching uh, are very common symptoms which may have several underlying causes like candida albicans or candidasis, that is candida thrush, bacterial vaginosis, and STIs, e.g. gonorrhea. Vaginal atrophy occur in postmenopausal women and can lead to itching and bleeding of the vagina. Lichen sclerosis appear as white patches on the vulva and are treated with itching. Kindly note that other symptoms of urinary symptoms such as frequency, agency, and dyspareunia can be relevant to gynecological problems, e.g. dyspareunia, vaginal prolapse, and even pelvic pain. Bowel symptoms are very, very important, and uh, you should be able to elicit fever, even fatigue may be nonspecific, but the presence may indicate anemia or even malignancy. And intentional weight loss concerning features may be indicated of aligned malignancy, especially cancer of the cervix. Abdominal distension is often benign symptoms. However, it can be associated with serious underlying pathologies such as ovarian cancer with ascites. It can be even be huge ovarian cyst or even huge uterine fibroids. Review of other systems are mandatory and uh, this we normally consider the systems that were not affected and you may review all systems as quick as possible. Uh, maybe central nervous system, cardiovascular system, genital urinary system, musculoskeletal system, all systems that uh, were not affected during chief complaint are important to be reviewed in relation to gain history. Past medical and surgical history. This will explore past medication and surgical history not related to gynecology, e.g. past admissions, drug allergy, blood transfusion, etc. However, some do include past obstetric and gynecology history in this section, which should appear in past gynecology and obstetric history in obstetric and gynecological history section, which we will explore further. And this is gynecological history. Uh, in Euroecology clinic, it is important to include little bit of obstetric history as introductory part of your client or patient. And in gynecological history, it is also very, very important to include obstetric gyne history. And obstetric history is very, very important. And uh, this includes parity and gravity. Some may include the puperium, complication during antenatal care, complication during postnatal care, number of live births, number of children uh, during piperium, or no, the GIPTAL, G-T-P-A-L, is a chronic used by doctors, clinical officers, and nurses to sum up obstetric history of a woman, uh, that is gravida, term births, pre births, abortion, and living children. Menstrual history is very, very important in obstetric gain history. And this is very, very important to elicit the age of menac. Early menac may be associated with severe breast and severe uh, diseases. Last menstrual period, if late, you can even do pregnancy test. Menstrual pattern, the circle, duration of flow, amount of flow, associated pain, that is dysmenorrhea. Explain you sacrotes uh, the way we had explained earlier. Then whether it is primary or secondary dysmenorrhea, kindly watch the video that I talked about dysmenorrhea, both primary and secondary. Consider amenorrhagia, excess menstrual flow at regular interval. Consider metrorrhagia, frequent and regular menstrual flows. Polymenorrhea, regular circle, less than 21 days. Or even oligomenorrhea, infrequent menstrual greater than 35 days. Amenorrhea, this is now no menses at all, and intermenstrual bleeding, bleeding in between menses. Find out bleeding is related to contraceptive or any history of trauma or even history of cancer of the cervix. A menstrual history, consider age of onset, history of postmenopausal, vaginal bleeding, a shorter symptom, e.g. vasomotor symptoms, maybe flushing, fever. History of hormonal replacement therapy is very, very important. Contraception history, as family planning methods used, which current methods are you using? Uh, current methods, contraception, current methods that you are using, are you satisfied with the method, previous method, including complication uh, reasons for discontinuation? Uh, fertility or infertility history, this 
desire or future fertility any difficulty conceiving in the past if so prior evaluation and treatment discuss about hormonal replacement therapy if any consider duration of use cyclical or continuous combined or estrogen only past gynecological history is very very important in this particular setting a uh, number of pregnancies about uh, learn about full obstetric history this one we will do in another video number of births miscarriages ectopics are very very important uh, means of delivery eg age of child and birth weight is very very important explore any obstetric delivery or even complication surgical history particularly any pelvic or abnormality during surgery abdominal abdominal surgery previous gynecological problems previous gynecological problems including disease of the breast previous gynecological pelvic surgeries eg cervical colonization hysterectomies history of sexual transmission uh, that is infections and or pelvic inflammatory disorders time and result of previous screening and diagnosis test eg pap smear and mammography kindly consider sexual history type of sexual uh, intercourse concerned about libido dyspareunia or orgasm history of sexual abuse or sexual assault include five p's that is partners practices during coitus protection from stis if any persistence of stis and even prevention of pregnancy if any personal history consider sleep appetite micturation defecation weight loss or weight gain or even any addiction to any drug family history is very very important consider cancer of reproductive system in the family eg breast cancer or even ovarian cancer with the brc a1 stroke 2 gene mutation and even endocrine disorders eg diabetes mellitus or hypertension consider social history relationship status socio economic status occupation status uh, drug and alcohol use now this is now the very very important part that we are discussing about this history and we consider the patient bio data demographic data chief complaints and duration history of presenting illness review of other systems past medical and surgical history obstetric and gynecological history that is we consider obstetric history menstrual history contraceptive history fertility or infertility history past obstetric and gynecological history sexual history hormonal repl uh, replacement therapy if any and then normal family history personal socio economic history summary of the history and you may proceed to do general examination vital systemic examination laboratory investigation and even management thank you for watching share comment like and do subscribe to this channel do turn on the bell for more the updates we accept questions and additions through the comment section see you in the next video muchas gracias